I'm ready. I'm I I'm fully sharded. <laughs> Well, greetings and hello there, everybody. It's me, your beloved Star Wars dad, Nooch to Good. I got a little bit of a sore throat today, but it's 31 weeks of spending $100 a week, and I need your help because I am unsure what to do next. I've got some ideas. You know, obviously, we're farming Jar Jar right now, and Captain Tarpal shards are now available for us to purchase. So we're going to be moving forward on those Captain Tarpal shards and getting ready for Jar Jar whenever the event comes to us. I'm also kind of... Uh, I'm kind of saving some money in the background, like right now, I don't have my spending chart available this week, but I've actually saved up about an extra hundred bucks for to have available right now. I'm kind of I'm kind of hoarding a little bit of cash right now in case at the end of this Jar Jar run, I've got to I got to you know infuse some cash into the account to get Jar Jar done on day one. I want to be here testing with you on day one, but after Jar Jar. I'm unsure what to do next. I need a little bit of help from you guys, a little bit of guidance, a little bit of talk. Tell me in the comments what you think. Let's take a look at all of my options for what my next my next farm will be after Jar Jar finishes. And we'll start with Jabba the Hutt. I've got all the characters at seven stars for Jabba the Hutt. You see Fennec, Chris Santon, Orison, Greedo's there. Uh, we've already got Boba Fett done, obviously. We, and we got to, I've already got Boosh Leia relic, actually. I don't know why I did that. I think so I was doing Jabba and maybe switched... Uh, sw I thought I was doing a job a while ago, and all these lightspeed bundles have kind of mixed. <laughs> it's all kind of, kind of gotten mixed up along the way. And if you look at my hut cartel, I'm good there. I've got the gamo. I've got so everybody's at seven stars for Java. So that is a big thought in my head that I could go for Java the Hut here on my account. Now, uh, my next thought, my next thought is actually a little bit different. It might be a, a little bit of a shorter path, a little bit of a quicker path. To leave me open to future things but i've got the marauder at seven stars right now and it's done and my bad batch aren't very good i've got a seven star wrecker over here but he's only gear seven i could add some gear right now i'm holding off guys i'm holding off right now because i just want to make sure that i've got sure that i've got everything in place to farm jar jar binks in the game and i'm actually recording this before the event for uh phalanx comes out i'll have phalanx you know here soon but I've got everything in place. I, I want to make sure I got everything, so I don't want to go spending gear on characters at the moment. You know, I think this is one of the most important farming decisions, farming ideas out there. Is that if you're farming a team, if you're farming toward Jar Jar, you got to be careful about dropping gear, a bunch of gear on other characters along the way, because then maybe you won't have that gear available for the Phalanx or for Tarples or for Jar Jar or for whoever. So you got to be a little bit careful with that. I could do some of these. That's fine. But um, so. I'm looking at, that's my next option. So I've got Java as an option, which would be a much more involved, bigger farm. Although I've got some of it done already, just some extra relic, relic levels. I'm like Han Solo, Boba Fett. Well, Boba Fett actually, no, is good to go. But I'm really seriously considering just doing my Bad Batch. Not only to have a Bad Batch team out there, but to get that awesome negotiator. Because my negotiator is ready. My negotiator is in great shape right now. And if I add that Marauder to my negotiator team, my Galactic Republic... Boy, I could be doing, I mean, it's an end game fleet. It, it kills everything. It just destroys everything in its sight. So that's kind of pretty high on things I'm thinking about doing after I do finish Jar Jar. Up next, um, and by the way, I'm, I'm farming Tech and Hunter right now. I'm farming the shards for them. I'm sharding Tech and Hunter. Just to get those done. Another, some other sharding I'm doing here, guys. I'm sharding Shore Trooper and Range Trooper and Marin just to round out some of my assault battles. Like, my Imperial Troopers are getting me to Tier 2 of the Rebel Roundup, and I think Tier 2 of the uh, uh, Endor, uh, what a, Endor Escalation, but I'm not to challenge Tier 3 of those right now, and I think the Shore Trooper and Range Trooper are the missing pieces that I need for my Imperial Trooper team to get to challenge Tier 3 of those, and then Marin, of course, will help me in the Secrets and Shadows. Uh, it's really, the Phoenix can get through Tier 1 of that. Tier 2 is, is pretty difficult, and... I don't have hours to spend on it, so I'm farming those three characters right now, and that's going to happen, and I think that whatever happens after I do Jar Jar, I do want to relic these three characters, and I want to relic my Night Sisters because they're not ready to go. I do want to work on those teams for sure so I can round out my Assault Battle Farming, but let's talk about another team while we're talking about Assault Battle Farming that really maybe is, maybe this is the next team I do, the Inquisitors. So... You know, this is two assault battles per month. It's my guild getting Reva shards. I'm actually going to be able to unlock Reva here pretty soon with my guild over the next uh, three to four months. So that'll happen regardless. 
But I do need to get Grand Inquisitor if I want Reba to be at her best on a Reba team. I need to have Grand Inquisitor in there. So do I do the Inquisitors next? That's another option there in front of me on the table. And then my final options that I'm looking at would be uh, would be my my Sith Empire for Darth Revan. I've got Bass Lashawn Fallen. I've got I've got the shards for these characters too. I've got my Old Republic shards all done. I've got well not all done. Sorry, I'm farming Juhani every day, but I've got I've got Candras. I've got Mission. So I got all these shards done. So Darth Revan and Darth Malak are also on the table. But there's more. You can see right here. I'm farming Shakti. She's almost seven stars, and you know what? That's gonna bring to the table. That's gonna bring gas to the table for me. I've got all the clones. The 500 first are here. They're all sharded at seven stars. I've got uh, Padme. I've got Shakti almost done. I've got 3PO. I've got General Kenobi. I've got Ahsoka. They're all pretty much ready for the gas event as soon as I get them done. And then for my separatists, I've got Grievous here sitting here at gear 12. I haven't reliced him yet. I've got uh, the Magna Guard. I got Droidica. I got B2. I got B1. I'm ready. I'm I I'm fully sharded. <laughs> Let's get a fully sharded in comments. If you made it to this point of the video, I want to hear from you. Fully sharded in the comments. I am fully sharded for 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 pretty much right now. I'm fully sharded for gas. <laughs> I'm fully sharded for gas. I've sharded my gas hole. Now I need to shard my gas. I need to take it across and I need to fully shard the gas hole. Get gas in there. I'm pretty much fully sharded for my Darth Revan and Darth Malak hole. I'm I'm ready for that. I'm ready to do my Bad Batch hole. I'm ready to I've already got it fully sharded. You know, not actually I'm not fully sharded for Bad Batch. I'm going to be fully sharding for Bad Batch. I need Tekken Hunter done. I would need Echo done there too, so that's kind of a, yeah, a little iffy there. I, I probably should just start sharding Echo as well. So when you guys tell me what to do, I can go do it. I'm fully sharded for my Inquisitor hole as well. I'm going to go ahead and just do this right now. Bam, bam. Okay, thank you. I'm fully sharded for my Inquisitor hole. I'm fully sharded for my Jabba hole. So, it just, it never, it never gets old. So, what do I do next, guys? I, I am not, I'm not 100% sure. I'm just not 100%. Do I... Do I just take, do I just get the Night Sisters done? Do I just get my Imperial Troopers done? There's a lot to do here. Jar Jar is next for sure. And I'm going to talk about my farming path for that in a second. But I need you guys to let me know what is next on my path. Is it, let's go over the options again. Bad Batch and Marauder, which I, seems like a big deal to me. The Inquisitors, Jabba, Darth Revan, Darth Malak, or, um, or Gas. Those are my five options right now. Those are my five options. And just to make sure we're clear on this, as far as the uh, as far as Sith Empire, I'm 220 out of 330 shards for Darth Malgus. I've not been buying, I've not been buying the Conquest Pass. I'm just gonna, I'm, I'm gonna, I, I don't know. I like it. It's like, but you know, getting all these characters and proving grounds done, you know, one round quicker. That's the main purpose for me. And it's like, that's good. But then I gotta have stuff to do with them. My roster is not really really ready to absorb all these characters, except for Ben Solo and Darth Malgus right now. So. Now we're looking at Darth Malgus five to six months down the road, so if that informs any of your opinions on what to do next. Now let's talk about Jar Jar and where we are with this. I want to do something first. I have purchased some crystals from the online web store. Now if you haven't looked at the SWGH web store, just Google it. SWGH web store, you'll find it out there. It's the best way to get crystals. I'm going to show you right now. Uh, here if you buy it for $100 in game, 15,710 crystals. But if you buy it on the web store, if you buy it, and by the way, don't buy it again. I just, I, don't, I guess people are buying this for 50 bucks. I'm not one of them. Um, if you're buying it on the web store, it's not 15,700. It is 16.5K. So you get, a, you know, a bunch of extra crystals. Everything on the web store is either discounted in price or upgraded in rewards. 95% of stuff. There's a few things they put on there that are normal price, but... Check out the SWGH web store today. Get yourself a discount. Go buy things on the web store today. So, why did I buy those crystals? Well, there's one very simple reason. Even with buying those crystals, I still, as I mentioned earlier, I've still got a hundred bucks in the in the uh, in the kitty right now. So, I, I am actually uh, saving saving. You know, we're spending a hundred bucks a week on this account. So when I don't spend a hundred bucks in a week, I, that's me saving money for later in case I need to splurge for the Boomadir or for the Phalanx down the road to get them to seven stars or get some gear. 
because I want to unlock Jar Jar on day one for you guys and be out here testing it. Maybe be the first one to do that? I don't know. We'll see. So Captain Tarples is now available in shipments. Uh, he didn't make it in there right now, it looks like. He's not available. But he, eh, I got some shards of Captain Tarples uh, last night in shipments, so he will be there. What are shipments? It's not the weekly shipments quite yet. I don't think so, anyway. I haven't seen him there. But if we look at... Uh, I'm in the wrong place. I go to the... I constantly go to the wrong place. You guys know this. It's, it's how I work. It's how I function. Um, so, Captain Tarples was... I think he was right here in this in where staff is right now. I got some shards there. I don't see him in the weekly shipment, but in 12 hours, he may show up in the weekly shipment. Again, guys, I'm recording this early. This will actually be refreshed here. And again, buy these Omegas here. That's a big deal. Um, so, I think he's probably going to be in these weekly shipments too here shortly. So, I will be... I, I've got these crystals so that I can finish off with my seven-star journey on Captain Tarples on my way toward Jar Jar Binks. And, and we'll have uh, we'll the Phalanx here briefly. Boomadir is here ready. I'm saving all of my gear right now because I could actually relic. I could relic Padme. I could relic Zori Bliss. I could relic the Geo Spy. I could relic my Dar Scion. But I'm holding off right now because everything is being saved and hoarded for Jar Jar at the moment. And yeah... It may take another month or two before they release Jar Jar, and that's fine if they do that. I just, I'll become a hoarding account until that happens. The cool thing would be if I hoard up a truckload of stuff, I'll be able to come right out of the gate and maybe do my, maybe like off the bat, I could do Inquisitors and uh, a Sith Empire or, or, or Jabba and my, my Malevolence for my, or my Marauder. For the negotiator or maybe i could do my imperial troopers finish them up and my night sisters for assault battles so if i'm hoarding up gears we might be we're going to be kind of a holding pattern here for a little bit until jar jar is released i'm very curious to see if we get a capital ship here in the next couple of months while they're in the process of finishing up this jar jar thing but i want to be here for day one for you guys for jar jar testing and to that end one more note here at the end of the video i'm actually trying to drop in my squad arena to see if I can do some testing out there. Now, the problem is, see, I'm at rank 164 right now, and I don't even know if I can drop low enough to people that don't have Galactic Legends, because that's where I really want to test Jar Jar, is against some non-Galactic Legend teams. So, I don't know, it's going to be curious. I may have to, like, maybe reach out and make some allies around me. If in the next week or so, I I've dropped even further, and I, by the uh, what am I fighting with right now? I'll show you. It's Wat Tambor. And they filled this stuff in, and I don't have it filled in. Wat Tambor is my only character in Squad Arena right now. I'm trying to drop down to where I can see some CLS teams, some Imperial Troopers. I just don't know that I'll be able to make it down that far. I do think it's cool that there's 164 people, basically, active in my in my uh, my Arena Shard right now. A, a year and a half into the game. I'm 31 weeks into doing this, paying 100 bucks a week, which is, I started that at the one-year mark, so... You know, we're a year and a half into the game, and there's still 164 people playing the game every day. That's pretty awesome. So, hopefully I can drop down where there's no Galactic Legends. If I can't, I'll climb back up, and then I'll do some allies and get some folks, maybe put some teams in there for me to do some testing on day one of Jar Jar for you guys. And that's where we are with the account right now. Let me know in comments, please, what should I be uh, fully fully sharded, first of all, be in comments, but what should I do next? And, and I'll go one more time here at the end of the video. We got Marauder with Negotiator. We've got the Inquisitors. We got Jabba. We got Gas. We got the Sith Empire. And alternatively, we got the Night Sisters and the Imperial Troopers for my assault battle. So that's six, six teams are working on farming. And I'm going to guess that about a month from now or less, we'll have another Lightspeed bundle come out. So I'm going to have to do that too along the way. It's going to be really interesting to see all of the extra farming that's going to happen on the account. Let me know what you think. What should I farm next? I will talk to everybody soon. Have a great day and always remember, nooch too good.